Sorry to be before oh, another another Michigan face here. Okay. Sorry to be before you guys in my Michigan jump man gear. No disrespect, but I just came straight from Cleveland where I had to do a shoot for the um, Heisman show. So I just came straight from the road to um I don't even know what building we're in right now, but um so that's why I got on my amazing blue jump man gear. In case you were wondering. I, I, was, I don't do this, you know, every week. It just came from a Heisman piece. Now. So I guess first I off, mean, just I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, where I was born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> what are your What are your thoughts about this weekend? The rivalry being back, the national prominence of this game, the impact it's going to have. We have a five hour show. Wow, this game is huge. It's fun, you know. Hopefully, it, li it lives up to the hype tomorrow. Um, excited about it. Excited. I think um, college football is is better when the schools like, um, you know, like Michigan and uh, maybe USC, you know, some of the perennial powerhouses are, are, are relevant. And um, obviously this is an exciting time for, um, you know, not just both programs, but I think for college football in general. Now we heard from Kurt, what is it, like, what are the players thinking what tonight did he say? getting what did ready? He say? What did Kurt say? Well, he was just saying <laughs> that he was coming in knowing he hadn't beat oh, uh, Michigan in a uh, while, so he yeah. didn't want to get too hyped up. But I guess yeah. coming in, what are they thinking getting ready for this game, a two versus three kind of game? Wow. You know, um, I just think it's not even about two versus three to the players. Those numbers, I think, really are irrelevant. It's just Michigan versus Ohio State. The numbers in front of the teams are really irrelevant to the players. Desmond, what did it mean to you to play Ohio State? Everything at that age, everything. It's the biggest game you can play. Born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, playing for the legendary Bo Schembechler, it meant everything. What uh, what can this game do for Jabril Pepper's legacy? And playing for Gary Moeller too, because Gary Moeller was a hell of a coach, great coach. Um, it could you know it could make it could it could do wonders for his legacy. There's no doubt about that. This game. This, this game right here can build and, and um, create legacies for players. There's no doubt about this. This is the one that when you have a reunion and when you get back together, they talk about what happened in the Michigan-Ohio State game. They don't talk about what happened, you know, <laughs> any other game except this one. Th at least this is the first one they talk about. Yeah. How does this compare in terms of hype and whatnot to, to 06 and the one versus two game? Uh, I mean... I don't know. I guess it's – I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't get caught up in the hype, to be honest with you. It's not my thing. You're around the building a lot up in Ann Arbor. Are you surprised, first of all, that Jim's been able to jumpstart it so quickly and get them to this stage? Or have you, have you seen something from him specifically that, that has really turned the program around in the last few years? Well, this is Jim Harbaugh's um, M.O. This is what he does. I mean, he turns programs around relatively quickly. And um, he's um, – you know, I think the, the most important thing is he's brought, um, he's changed the culture, and I think that's that's key. And um, you know, year two, and uh, you know, rated ranked number three in the country. You know, it's pretty pretty big, pretty relevant. And so I think first and foremost, you know, you have to keep in mind that when you get a coach, a new coach, it has to be the right fit. I don't care how great this coach is at the program he's coaching, if he's not a great fit for your program, it's just not going to work. And as great as Jim Harbaugh is as a coach, he's the right fit for Michigan, too. He understands the culture. He knows what Michigan football, at least in his mind, looks like, what it's about. And um, he understands the region. He understands the conference. So it's, to me, it's not shocking or surprising that he's been able to do what he's been able to do um, in such a short period of time because he's the right fit. You know, I know the media like the media loves to talk about this quirk or that quirk or he got khakis on and that, but what they don't, you know, um, um, what they don't criticize him for is what he's getting the check for, which is the coach. He's a hell of a coach. You don't ask me, go ask the 49ers. If you don't believe me, go ask the 49ers. <laughs> how do you uh, how do you see this one on the field, X's and O's wise? Uh, it's just a good matchup. It's a really good matchup. I think that um, you know both teams have um, some deficiencies. I don't think neither team is um, um, uh, without flaws, you know. So it's going to be an interesting to see who can 
um, take who can impose his will on the, on the other team and who can uh, exploit the other team's flaws. Kurt was, talk, Kurt was talking about going around the country and, and hearing jokes about the Big Ten, and this year he doesn't hear that anymore. What's kind of your perception of the conference this season? People don't come up to me telling me jokes about the Big Ten. <laughs> and I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, Kirk had to deal with that. <laughs> Desmond, with Michigan's quarterback uncertainty, how much do you think that they can adjust? Obviously, it didn't look great last week. Is it anything yeah. in a week they can would they have Spade or not? That's a that's a huge concern because um, um, Spade had played um, so well for so long, and you knew what you were going to get with Spade up on the center. Um, but you know, O'Corn has obviously played a lot. You know, not for Michigan, he's played some this year, but he's played a lot for Houston. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he responds to this type of um, environment, you know, this type of defense, and just simply, um, you know, this type of pressure. You know, I think at the end of the, at the beginning of the game, you know, you may have some 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 nervousness or what have you, but as the game progresses, then you need to settle in and. and